mailbag time. Got a few things here. Let's see what we got. We checked this big package out last. Also, it's the first time here. Don't forget to click like and subscribe so you get to see my future videos. Maybe better than this one, maybe worse. Depends what's in this one. Let's have a look. That's one of these, isn't it? Right, we have some diodes. GPP 20J. Okay. <laughs> Don't remember ordering them. Hold on. Bridge rectifier 600 volts, 2 amps. That's according to the invoice here. When did I order these? I don't remember getting these recently. Date of order. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. This explains it. I'm, I was going to edit this and then I'll show you. Hold on. I'll edit this by tearing a piece of paper off. Hold on. This is why I don't remember buying these. Look at the date. 3rd of January. 2021. That was a year ago. Oh, well, I guess I finally got them in stock then. <laughs> oh, well. Excellent. Oh, man. Nice things to need sharpening. There you go. These took a little while to arrive. It's 50 black ones, 20 white ones. So these are little plugs. Like 3.5 millimeter jacks, so you should be able to shove this on a 3.5 millimeter jack, and it will plug it up. Who doesn't like having a plug? Oh wait, that could mean something else. Hmm. And obviously there's the black ones, just exactly the same, just different color. For instance, if we take this really old, beaten up iPhone 5C, which I actually still need to fix, I should really get onto that. You got a 3.5 mil jack there. There you go. Jack plugged up. That's one use. There'll be links down below for these items as well, where possible. As always, if you want to help support the channel, we'll use those links to buy things, because uh, I'll get a small commission. Oh really? You're kidding me. <laughs> okay, a couple of days ago, I built this thing. This is my prototype DRAM tester for the 4164 and the 4864 DRAMs. You may have seen this. I did a little short video for that. I've actually designed a proper PCB for this and that's been manufactured by PCWay already and it's already on its way. That's how quick they are. Uh, that's not like two days ago and it's already been shipped. That's already on its way so I'm going to be doing a video with a proper PCB which I'm going to make for this which is open source. You can get that from PCWay website. It's on their projects page. Just look for Death Bomb. Hopefully it'll come up. Or if not it'll be links down below maybe. It's that project which I did because I got sick of waiting for this thing because <laughs> this got shipped over a month ago, it was about two months ago, and it disappeared for a month, and now it's finally arrived. So this is another DRAM tester, but this one, instead of having a display like mine's got, which has got, obviously got the OLED, it's got a LED display here, like just four LEDs, and those indicators give you an idea of what's going on. You have to un understand what the codes are. Each LED means a different thing. I think it's got green and red as well. They are RGB LEDs. It's a bit more comprehensive than mine. Mine's just really basic. Just gets a much nicer display. Whereas this will test DRAMs. Actually, just do that. Let's try one out. Mine's a USB micro. Let's plug this in and get a try. Well, it's got power plugged in. I'm going to turn some of these lights off so you can see a bit better because it's a bit hard to see. I don't know, maybe I'll tip it downwards. Maybe you can see it then, can you? You can see the LEDs reflecting off the mat. So it's doing four different colours. So let's plug a DRAM into that and we'll see what actually happens. Oh, let's drop the DRAM in. All right, I'll actually turn some of these lights off so you can see this a bit slightly better, isn't it? Okay. Do a test. Green for good. Excellent. I know that's good already because I tested it at mine. Should I show you my tester? I think I will. So here's my tester, which runs slower than that one because I've got the display updating, which obviously slows it down. Turn the power on. So if you you may have seen this already in my little preview video, maybe do a test. It does take a minute or so, but it's slow because I've got this display updating which slows it down. So this is open source. There's a PCB available, all the code is available. There's a parts list as well for how to build it. 
So it's all there. It's a pretty simple thing to construct. As you can see, it's not much to it. It's a Duino Pro Mini and a few support circuitry bits, basically, with obviously the display. Random is a bit slow because it's doing a different pattern. But uh, yeah, so this is based on somebody else's code. Um, Adrian's digital basement, he had a version that he had, and I based it off that and heavily modified it to suit what I wanted to do. So his code is very simple and concise. The code is now about four times bigger. It works. But as you can see, it's much slower than this module. So it came from the UK. So it did take a while, but shipping is you know what it is, especially around Christmas time, which is when it got sent. So I can understand it taking a while to get here. Certainly not this guy's fault. That seems to work alright. So there's information about this thing from the eBay listings. This actually came from eBay. All the information about how it actually functions is on there. Yeah, I might chuck a link for this. We'll see. Maybe. If not, you can find it pretty easily. This does multiple versions of RAM. My version is nowhere near as versatile as this one. Alright, another RS one. So somebody commented on one of my videos about a month ago now, I think, saying, hey, you haven't ordered any capacitors for a while. And that got me thinking, they are right. I haven't ordered any capacitors for a while. So these are just capacitors. I'm just restocking. So 50 volt, 2200 microfarad. Whole bunch of these, 100 microfarad, 35 volt. And these are 1000 microfarad, 25 volt. Because the nights are getting a bit low on some of these certain values. Anyway, that's that sorted out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like capacitor videos. Now I actually get contacted by the company for this. This is a review item, which I'll be doing a proper review video on. So make sure you click like and subscribe and get to see this in a future video. Once you know what it is, it's a bit of a mystery right now. So it wasn't something I was actually looking for, but they contacted me and said, hey, you interested in looking at one of these? I thought, yeah, sure, why not? Let's give it a go. So let's actually see what we've got in here. Always cut the tools yourself. That way you won't get into somebody else. <laughs> Health and safety stuff, people always say, don't cut towards yourself. I say the opposite. You're going to look after yourself more than you're going to look after somebody else. So if you cut yourself, it's your own fault. You cut somebody else because you're going away from yourself. Anyway, we won't go there. It's a Blackview tablet, the Tab 6. I know almost nothing about this apart from the fact this is a tablet. So 8 inch HD display, 3 gig of RAM. 32 ROM, 5580 mAh battery, 2 megapixel front camera and 5 megapixel rear camera. When I heard about Blackview, I thought, well, that's interesting because I actually have a Blackview dash cam in the motorhome. Got it years ago, I don't know, 8, 10 years ago, something like that. I don't know if it's the same company or not, maybe it's just a coincidence, I'm not sure. So I'm going to be doing a review on this. Shall we have a sneak peek? Yes, let's have a little look. Let's, let's do it. It's almost as good as a peel, wasn't it? That's pretty satisfying actually. Right. There we go. This is a truffle grey colour. They gave me an option of different colours. I chose this one. Non New Zealand charger, but that's not surprising. It's a 5 volt output, 1 amp, so any standard 5 volt USB charger will work. We have a little extractor tool here USB C to USB adapter. So we're doing a proper view on this. I'm going to turn it on now. I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm going to actually have a play around with this thing for a while, I'm going to actually use it for a little bit, see how it goes, see what I think of it, and then I'll be recording a view video once I've actually got some findings. I don't know what this is going to be like yet, so I'm going to do a bit of a hands-on and actually play with it and use it, and what I was actually thinking I could do is actually have this on my desk here, potentially, and use this for doing circuit diagrams. So if I'm looking at something, trying to repair it, I could pull the circuit diagram up and put it on this device and have it right next to me. This would be much more convenient if I can get this to display circuit diagrams and things like that. So I don't actually know what the capabilities are, obviously you can browse the internet. That's what my intention is, I can have it on my desk here and use it for doing troubleshooting and also show you on camera whilst I'm doing it a lot more. Because I've got the thing right here, in shot, and you can see the circuit diagram in shot, I can even pull it up and show you the diagram, stuff like that. It's got good potential to help with the videos as well, that's why I agreed to get this. It's not the normal sort of thing I do, obviously, as you guys know, but I thought, right, well, this could add to my content and improve the content a little bit. 
and make it a bit easier which is why I agreed to actually get one of these even though it's not like my normal kind of thing a technology review is not really the same thing as electronic stuff but I think it slots in with the channel it's got some great potential there so I thought yeah okay we'll do it so watch out for this review if you're interested in seeing how this goes so don't forget to click like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time bye